In this video, we are going to walk through how to create and design a text set in Newzella. So here we are on the Newzella platform. We've logged in with Google and you can browse for content or you can search for content based on a topic that you are looking for. So we are going to search for a specific um, topic that we would like to build a text set um, around that uh, specific topic. Text sets are really great if you want to curate resources for your students, for research, or if you'd like to give them options for articles to choose from in an assignment. So we're going to pull up pollution um, articles here to create a text set um, for our students on um, the effects of pollution um, around the world. So we can open up an article from uh, those search results and right under the title is an add to text set button. So whenever you find an article that you would like to add to a text set, you can click on that once you're in the article. You can choose from text sets you already have created, or you can click the create a new text set button at the top. That will automatically create a new text set. We'll have your name and the date in the title. So you'll probably want to immediately edit that. So click on the wrench icon at the top and edit that title, give it a descriptive name, and then change the description if you'd like. It just has a text set created by you. You can give it a um, full description with maybe essential questions or standards or um, the types of articles that are going to be in your text set. We're just gonna give a basic description here um, to start, um, but you can make that as descriptive as you would like. So now we have our um, text set created with one article, but we'd like to add more articles to that. So we're gonna go back to our search results and go through and find some other articles that um, might fit our text set. So now when we click add to text set under that article title, we have our pollution text set that we can just select and that article will be added automatically to that text set. And as we scroll through, um, we can continue to add more. And you can see that there are other content um, that already have multiple articles added to them, like the modules. You can see other um, bundles or text sets in these text um, results. And so those are often helpful to help build your own text sets. So you can curate your results from these text sets. Um, which is often helpful um, to find uh, articles that other people have put together in a text set. So um, you can uh, continue to um, search through and add content to um, your text set. So we can see here an example of um, a text set already created with this uh, content. So we can find um, some of that content, some we've already added to ours. And so um, we'll add a couple of these to fill out our pollution uh, text set. Um, and then it will be ready to assign to our students. So we'll open a couple of those um, articles that fit our content and we'll click that add to text set button under the article uh, title and select our text set. Now text sets are located um, in your Newzella platform under your content. And if you created it, it is in the created by you. If you found a text set that's already made and you saved it, it's in the saved by you section. But all of the text sets that you create and choose articles um, to be in your text set, those are in your content created by you. So now we have our pollution text set that we put together here. There's two ways that we can share this with students. If this is a curated set of resources for research, you can just share that to Google Classroom as a material. So if it's just going to be um, a space where students can go to find research, you can click that share button and post it to Google Classroom as a material um, where students can go and check for research. Now, if this is going to be an assignment where maybe students pick one or two of these articles to read and respond to, you can choose create assignment. And so that's what we're going to do. 
we're going to add our class and fill this out as a normal assignment. So we've got our student instructions and we have students choose two articles out of the text set. So we have multiple articles from them uh, to choose from and then they are going to do the normal annotation, um, fill in that routine with annotating those articles with the act of participation. Then once we have the um, instructions filled out, we click assign. Then we need to click that share button with any Newzella assignment and post to Google Classroom so students have access to that assignment um, through their Google Classroom. And uh, so we'll complete these steps give it a title and instructions in Google Classroom so that they can easily click that link, sign in with Google if needed, and access it in Newzella so they can choose an article or two from the text set and access that um, content through the Newzella platform. Here's another um, Newzella text set um, assignment where they had multiple um, articles to choose from, they picked one and had a choice board where they could respond um, to the article and share that content with the class. So there's lots of ways that you can use text sets as a resource um, hub for your students or as a choice assignment for um, your class where they can choose an article that interests them.